Hi guys, this was a hilarious interview about something extremely serious. Jeffrey Donaldson, the leader of the DUP, tied himself up in knots following robust questions from BBC journalist Mark Carruthers over tweets posted by an account allegedly run by a DUP candidate for public office. Look, the dogs in the street know the DUP are aligned with loyalist paramilitaries. Their connections go back to the 1970s. But while the party will call out Sinn Féin over its links to the IRA, when a spotlight is shone on the DUP, its politicians fall apart. Enjoy this beautiful roasting. Let's talk about some of the candidates who are running for the DUP in this election. Let's start with Ian McLaughlin, the Sunday Word claims he was running the West Belfast UPRG Twitter account, and it was posting all kinds of highly dubious material. The UPRG, of course, is connected to the UDA, as you will know. That account now appears to have been deleted. But why was a DUP member running a social media account linked to a loyalist paramilitary group? Well, I, I haven't been given evidence that that is the case. Have you asked, um, Mark? Um, yes, we have talked to Ian. Uh, Ian is not a member of the UPRG. Uh, Ian is ha and has been a member of the DUP for some time. Ian went through the proper selection process. Did, did he tweet from that account? Did he tweet sectarian, sexist and racist comments on that account? Not to my knowledge. Did you ask him? Yes, we did. And what did he say? Well, uh, Ian is very clear. Um, but uh, he is not a member of the UPRG. Did he tweet, is not did he tweet those comments on that UPRG I, account? I have not been told that he did. Did you ask him? I did, yes. What did he say? He, he denied that he was responsible. <laughs> I wasn't told that he did. And then you were asked, did he do it? And he said, uh, no, no, he didn't. He told me he didn't do it. So which is it? You were told that he didn't. And then when you ask, this is a nonsensical response. This is a nonsensical response. Did you speak to him? Yes or no? What did he say when you asked him? Obviously, <laughs> so Jeffrey, Jeffrey Donaldson probably didn't ac actually ask the guy because he doesn't care. Responsible uh, for uh, what is being alleged. Uh, and I have yet to see the evidence, Mark, that suggests uh, that Ian is responsible uh, for the tweet. If he was responsible, would he be a DUP candidate? Well, uh, I don't have the, that knowledge. But if <laughs> What do you mean, I don't have that knowledge? If he was responsible for this, would he be a DUP candidate? Yes or no? But like A reasonable person would say, no, I don't want racists or bigots in our party. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the DUP we're talking about here. But you would say, no, I don't want these people in our party. They should, they, they should be kicked out of the party. We don't want racists and bigots and sexists. If that knowledge is well, brought to my attention, to find and if people can give me the evidence of well, that. There's so many words reported well, on it extensively. Yes. Have you seen the tweets? Uh, I have not seen the tweets, no, but well, I, 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 I'm quite happy I to show them to you them. here. I actually, they are so offensive, I couldn't read them out in this television interview. I'm aware of what I've seen them reported in the media. Yes, right. of course I when, have. When... So you, see, you haven't seen the tweets, but you saw it reported in the media. And it's about a member of your party that is running for public office. And... When you're pushed on whether you ask the guy, you're saying, well, he ha I haven't been informed about this. And then when you're pushed again, you say, well, he denied it. When did you talk to him, McLaughlin? When well, did you yeah, ask him? He was interviewed as part of the process. Well, when did you ask him? Did, you, did you ask him? You told me. Did. During when that, did you ask him? During that process, he was asked about the Did you things. ask him? Uh, yes. Uh, we, uh, did I you, have, Jeffrey Donaldson, ask him? I, I have had conversations with Ian. I've met with Ian. I <laughs> so now we've gone to, did you ask him, well, I've had conversations with him in the past. Well, did you ask him about these tweets? Or he denied it. Or, well, I didn't know about it. Or he, what the hell is going on here? And I am very clear uh, about what Ian has told me. Okay. And, uh, did you uh, ask him if he tweeted from the UPRG account? And, and I have been told that the answer to that is no. What do you mean you've been told? <laughs> <laughs> did he tweet i've been told i've been told the answer is no but before in the interview you said that you asked him and he denied it so which is it jeffrey told the answer is no because that's what ian has told me right you asked him that question that and is, he told you that that is what uh, i have been told that's what the party has been told and that's what i've been told you asked him and your answer is that's what i've been told Told by whom? By him directly or by people within the party? Look, let's cut to the chase here. The problem is that there hasn't been a, a, a proper vetting process. Or even if there has been a proper vetting process, they don't care. They, they're they happy to allow these racists and bigots and sexists into the party because that's what the DUP is all about. 
look at the end of the day. Strange use of language, Sir Jeffrey. Well, I don't really understand why you're couching it in the terms I mean, of ER. Let me just ask you one more time. Did you speak directly to Ian McLaughlin? Did you ask him if he tweeted from the UPRG Twitter account? And did he tell you directly, no, Sir Jeffrey, I did not? That's that is, very simple. That is the case. That is the case. Yes. When was that? Uh, that would have been during the candidate selection process, which I believe... So you were involved in selecting as a candidate? Yeah. This, well, I'm one of the party officers, and ultimately the party officers in the DUP ratify the candidates for selection. What a mess. <laughs> Does anyone actually believe that this actually happened? No. Did he actually ask him about the tweets? No. I don't believe for a second that Jeffrey Donaldson asked this candidate about the tweets, either because he didn't know about them or because he didn't care. And it could be a, a mix of the two. He heard something about tweets, but look, you know, this guy, he's probably going to win his seat. Let's uh, ignore his past. Let's ignore the racism, the biggest bigotry, uh, the sexism of his comments on Twitter. Uh, that's OK. You know, the, <laughs> the, the ends justify the means. That's what the DUP is all about. Embarrassing. And it's an embarrassment of a party. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.